Morning guys, um, I'm here at a, a wetland area in Essex and uh, I've got nesting spoonbills here. It's the first time I think we've had spoonbills nesting here. Um, so it's really exciting. Um, now I'm not going to mention exactly where I am because uh, this is quite a sort of a rare occurrence for Essex but anyone local will know you know this area uh, but I think it's pretty safe to make this video because the spoonbills are nesting right over there it's sort of right across the water they're really safe and the chicks are pretty big already and by the time this video comes out um, I think they'll be not far off fledging anyway so yeah it's so exciting spoonbills are a really big um, water bird um, as big as a heron really and they've got this big spoon uh, bill shape uh, like spoon shaped bill it's absolutely superb I'm here fairly early so it's around about 6 I'll go to about 6 a.m. Uh, it's probably about 6.30 now and not only have we got spoonbills we've got herons uh, there's little egrets uh, there's uh, common terns um, fishing I've got some nice shots of terns uh, a terns just uh, come past me now it's just fantastic I've got my big Oh, there's a heron over there. Two. That's two herons, actually. So we've got herons flying over all over the place. Uh, we've got spoonbills nesting. I think there's two chicks. We've got common terns flying over. There's a little egret just coming. There's loads happening at the moment. Because the thing about this is, is when you've got one of these areas, we've got um, already nesting herons and nesting spoonbills, and they tend to nest together. So a uh, nesting herons, sorry, and nesting. Uh, little egrets and now we've got a spoonbill coming nesting and they tend to nest together so it's it's really nice when you've got these sort of common uh, nesting areas you get loads of different species and as I say we've got spoon uh, we've got a co common terns fishing as well so it's great the light is fantastic I've got that early morning uh, soft sunlight there's another heron down there God, it's all happening well it's, it's just so fantastic so I'll speak to you soon guys there's too much going on for me to uh, keep talking to the camera so yeah bye for now Speak to you soon. Hi guys, just a quick update. Uh, it's about an hour, hour and a quarter since I last spoke to you and uh, I've got some more heron shots, some more common turn shots, some more little egret shots, so that's all good. I've got some of the spoonbills, but they're still sort of stuck in amongst all the sort of trees, so I haven't got a really clear shot, but I've seen the, uh, the female and I've got pictures of her and I think two chicks, so it's all good. Now I'm just hoping that, um, you know, I can get a clearer shot of the spoonbills before the light gets too harsh because it's about half seven now, so give it another hour and the light's going to start getting quite harsh. Um, but, you know, we'll stick around and see what we can see. So, yeah, um, I will speak to you soon, guys. Hi, guys. Um, the metal spoonbill hasn't come back in again yet. But I've got some great shots of the spoonbill, uh, the female, out in the open because the heron came in really close to the nest. The female spoonbill didn't like it, so I flew up, chased the heron off. So it was great. I've got some shots of the female spoonbill and the heron in the same frame. So if I don't get anything else today, that's great and uh, I can relax now. So I'm really, really pleased. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
and if you have enjoyed it if you can consider subscribing to my channel that would be great uh, if you can give it a like a thumbs up that would be also brilliant oh and if you do subscribe if you press the little bell icon you'll be notified when my next video is uploaded so yeah uh, thanks very much for watching guys um, and I'll speak to you on my next video so bye for now Hi guys, um, I'm just about done. Um, the sun's gone behind cloud now and it's about nine o'clock anyway, so even if the sun does pop out, it's gonna be a bit bright and harsh the light. So it's been fantastic. I had a male spoonbill coming and I've got slow motion footage of the spoonbill gathering nesting material, then flying back to the nest. I've got stills uh, and this male spoonbill came in, in and out of the nest a number of times. So it's been brilliant. It's been one of my best mornings photography for a while actually. I've got herons, uh, great uh, crested grebe, common terns, little egrets and a spoonbill. So it's been fantastic. So I'm going to call it a wrap now and all that remains is for me to have um, tea and chocolate I think. So um, yeah, bye for now guys. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will speak to you soon. So bye for now guys.